basically, this is all range generated for the back musculature. So that's a reason why in many instances, though not all, you want a little bit of a closer grip than a wider grip to target the back. A wider grip is gonna, I think, do less overall mechanical work, making it not as efficient. It's also gonna hit the rear delts and, and uh, sort of middle upper traps a little bit more, but uh, I'm not convinced this is the greatest setup in the world. Definitely something for you to try in the gym, but when you try it, if you're like, eh, and you go back to the closer grip, more long range of motion version, and you're like, ooh, yeah, that's great, uh, don't be surprised. <laughs> The uh, interesting thing he's doing is he's doing some spinal flexion and extension. I think for a cable row, that's actually really awesome. Again, as usual, I would love to see him really fully flex into the motion, almost putting his head sort of closer to his knees, really rounding his whole back. And then as he comes up, arching back and putting that chest sky high, literally putting his shoulders behind his glutes with a huge arch belly out, that's gonna be extra tough. And it's gonna hit the spinal erectors like crazy. I'm sure you guys have seen some pictures of my spinal erectors. Directors, they kind of look like two people running up my back, which is what they, they always told me that in jail. I, I don't know why. <laughs>